aqui. What exactly is the problem with this F chord? Like, what is the problem with this F chord? <laughs> I'm sure every guitarist must have been through this uh, big challenge, starting out as a guitarist. One of those chords I've run, like I've, I've, I've decided to stop playing is actually the F chord. It's one of those difficult chords out there. But trust me, guys, if you have clicked this video, congratulations. You're actually on the right page, yeah. So <coughs> if you're new to this channel, this is um, Mosak's New World Empire, and I'm still your favorite instructor, Hills Nectar. So do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then click the bell notification because we've got you covered. The new world is all about music. Pentatonic skills, all like the major skills. New World Empire. Yeah, so back to the F chord, the almighty, <laughs> the almighty F chord. So um, the first approach I'll be showing you is um, this very one. So in this case, you're actually pressing just three notes with these fingers. Finger one, two, and three. So the first finger, which is your index finger, is pressing the second, oh sorry, the first fret of the B string and then the second finger which is the middle finger is pressing the um, second fret of the G string and then the third finger which is our ring finger is pressing the third fret of the fourth string which is our D string so once you're done with this first here second here and then third here if you have played this, I think we are good to strum the chord or arpeggiate the chord. So this is what we have. This is just a simple approach you can um, give to it, the first approach. Just in case you are struggling with probably um, playing the other um, shapes I will be showing you. The first approach is to just get this chord, this note rather. Do, mi, so, do, mi, so. For, for example, if you're playing your C. Do, do, fa, do, do, fa, do, so. You can see, you can easily um, switch between your do and then your fa. You're just moving this, um, your C, your C, your C and your E for the um, um, C chord. You're just taking the same position, moving it down. Just the same position, taking it down. <coughs> and then you have your first, um, the, the first and the basic um, chord shape for F. So you can play. So by the time you're playing this, your fingers would have been um, a bit used to what chord F looks like. So the next approach, this time around, you'll be using this finger to play two strings at the same time, but it's on the same fret actually. So that makes it a bit easier. So this is what I mean. So you're playing your so, sorry, yes, yeah, so, so, do, so, do, so, do, so, do, so, do. How do you play this? So where all pe most people actually get it wrong is they intend to use this fleshy part to hold these two strings. And by doing that, you get yourself, <coughs> you, you get yourself um, not finding it easy to to, to voice out the notes because this part might not release really a press it the way you want. So as a beginner, learn to use this part of the finger rather than this part to play. So this is what I mean. Instead of playing like this, instead of playing like this, 
it's better you play like this you slant it a bit you slant you slant it a bit doing this gives you a better grip than doing this because it, the chord it in itself is more like a, 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 a slanted chord so you slant this finger in this um, in this form so this hard part of your finger gives it little grip compared to playing it like this so instead of playing your regular mi so do mi so do mi so you're adding one extra note which is your do so it's not sounding like do mi so do do mi so do so mi do mi so do do mi so do so mi do mi so do so how do you play this it's as simple as just adding this do note to the initial um to the initial the previous um voicing i showed so the previous one is like this so instead of allowing this um finger stand like this because you want to press two notes you slant it using this hard part to press these two strings to give you a better grip so this is what you have all together sorry So when you've successfully passed these two stages, you can go ahead to include one extra note that will make it even more fuller this time around. So remember, we're just bu bu building up on the first um, shape I showed you, or the first approach I gave you, which is your Do, Mi, and then So. The second approach, we added our high Do, and then this time around, we're adding another note, which is also a, a note in the chord. F major. So this is how it looks like. So you're adding, instead of just this regular um, position, you're adding, you're using your ring finger now to hold the C, the note C here, which is um, on the um, fifth string. Your C is on the fifth string, third fret. So you're using your um, ring finger. Initially, the position was like this. The position was like this initially and then you're using your ring finger now you're taking it up to the next string which is the fifth string and then you're bringing your pinky to the position where the ring finger was initially so this is what you have so do mi so do so do mi so do So this is what you have. You can see we, we've added two extra notes. So I'll leave you to practice this. You can pause the video like I would always say. And then once you're done practicing this, you can continue with us. So I'm sure you've done that. So back to um, the last position. The last position is actually um, a bar chord, which is more like the fuller, the, the, the father of them all. So um, I actually dropped the video on bar chords, the four basic bar chord shapes. So I advise you go check the video and then you would see how to approach bar chords. So now <clears throat> the next chord is a bar chord. How do you play a bar chord? A bar chord is simply a chord you play starting from a bar with your index finger. So <clears throat> you're barring the first fret entirely with your index finger, every string. So this is what you have. This is what you have. So I need to do this and then play open. Do this as many times as you can to just get this, um, to just develop this little endurance and then, and then continue. So. I want you to hold it and play until you are beginning to feel um, uncomfortable with around this region of your finger. So, so this last one, you're just adding the lower do. Sorry, the, yeah, the lower do to give it a fuller now, a more a complete um, 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 F chord sound, F major chord sound. So this is all we have. Instead of this short cut here, you have to um, add, um, um, open your <coughs> open your um, Sorry, make your um, finger bar, your index finger bar the entire fret. 
So this is what you have. Do so do do so do mi so do. So this is what you have all together. Yeah, so trust me guys, by the time you follow these steps one after the other, I'm sure you drop your testimonies in my comment section. So once again, I will, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited, I'm so glad you've watched this video up till this um, minute. A shout out goes to you watching this video right now. If you're just joining us, if you're new to this channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell also, you click that so you get our latest update. So, see you in our next class. Bye.